with you to North Korea, I'm not gonna lie, then I'd be fucking good. <laughs> Yo, oh. seriously. Or I could take Sneeko with me. Never mind, Sneeko would be like pressing them, like, hey man, like, like how many genders are there? Like, <laughs> yeah, he would just go, oh god. Oh. Big little answer to say, like, six questions. <laughs> <laughs> Bring Fousey? Yeah, right. We'll get fucking assassinated in like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bring Fousey, nigga, yeah. What if, well, yo, what if Fousey, yo, what if Fousey, what if Fousey was like talking to like, he was just like, we pull up there and then Fousey just like, let me tell you my life story. Like, bro, like just went like fucking like five minute like ramble. And, like, bro, I, I'm not gonna lie, they would think we were like talking shit and like fucking like, Bomb us and shit. They probably like, shoot a missile yeah, in our fucking like fuck? hotel room. <laughs> like, bro, I don't even know, bro. Yo, Jake. <laughs> Yo. Yo. You good, guy? <laughs> 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 You show me neon and cheese, so you for real. That will be good content for real. Content, Jake. Oh, God. Content. That's all you care about, Jake? Jake, what if I die, bro? You care about that content? <laughs> Jake, come on, bro. Oh, man, Jake. You care about that oh, content? Man, <laughs> you that content, Jake. Fuck that nigga, Jake. Fuck that nigga. Bro, did I tell you? Bro, cuff him. Eddie literally told what? me. He said... I literally said, bro, what if they kill me? He says, bro, you'll be live. You're good. He said, whatever you do, just don't end stream. <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, bro. Like, that's the promo. He, that's the promo he was trying to get from you. He gonna get it when you get fucking burnt over there on Kick.com. Like, yeah, chat's gonna start like effing. It's gonna say, that, chat, what's that like little screen when it apps that like fucking like low bit rate detected? And it's, like, it's just like, I'm gonna fucking like, you're gonna hear like screaming and like, like yeah. gunshots and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead, yeah. and then you guys are gonna be putting like dummies, like, like GGs, and like Fs and shit. Not a gush, I will hear like a machete, like saw your neck off, like <laughs> all the like blood gushing out from your neck. It just oh, has lost connection. Jake, down here, Jake. Uh. Why did Rodman go to North Korea? Like, bro, let me watch a video on North Korea. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. Is it really, like, that dangerous? North Korea vlog. Um. We've been to North Korea, and our time there was pretty shocking. Oh, God, I'm gonna share my screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Now you wanna share it with you? <laughs> Is it really that bad? <laughs> of course. So... Pyongyang. Wait, is that dog from North Korea? What kind of dog is that? University. Yeah. Everyone looked at us, but not very interested. Not gonna lie, I thought this was actual content. Like, this is shit. Yo! The views go crazy. What the fuck? North Korea is not a joke. It's one of the worst countries in the world. It's isolated, it's dangerous, it's strict. But above all, it's depressing. So here is my time inside North Korea. Bro. I visited North Korea by taking a 24 hour train from Beijing to the border. Here, you can only enter as part of an organized tour group. And now we have to take a train to North Korea for 24 hours. And the minute you cross the border, you enter a whole new world. Soldiers will inspect everything you own. Wait, so I could actually go then, chat? They check every picture and every page of every book that you have. Please do not hey. report us, the person in the military. You did not get killed. They make sure you don't carry any Bibles or Qurans or any religious texts because religion is banned. No political Yo. books, no nude You're magazines, no. Not, chats. no internet transmitters, and no sensitive information. Soldiers even take your phone to check which pictures you have. No way it's that strict they check your iPhones. Shit, I'm gonna just have two phones. <laughs> but now that they're watching chat, what? I'm gonna really have three. 
Yeah, and it all made yeah. sense because this oh, country yes. is like a prison. Inside of it, you'll see extreme poverty and extreme isolation with no freedom, no Wi Fi, no Facebook, oh, yeah, no I'm access false. to the outside. There's no Wi Fi. Hey, GG, Eddie, I'm not doing it, bro. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Whoa. Bro, this place is such a closed community that everything they produce is produced internally, which means there's no trade or very Starlink? little trade with other. Oh shit, the Starlink would work, right? Because that's from Elon Musk's satellite in the space. Nations. If you're gay, and no matter how much, if you're gay at all, they kill you, bro. What? They yeah. try to hide it. Yeah. North Korea no. is poor. On the highway, there are very few cars because people can't afford them. Oh, this is the main highway of North Korea, right here. Inside homes, there is no stable power because it keeps going out. <laughs> power went off again. Outside homes, poverty is apparent and the people are trapped inside. <laughs> say hi. Hi. What, what do you want to say to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> they have a beautiful culture, beautiful traditions, amazing sports events, circuses, and okay. dances. That's they my next question, chat. You guys know there's a thing in the world called World Olympics, right? So, like, if we don't fuck with North Korea, why are they in the World Olympics? That makes no sense. Like, chat, like, generally think about that, right? Like, why are they allowed to come in the North, I mean, the, the World Olympics? Have, have, real shit. They are proud people, but the problem is... What's the problem? They don't matter. What matters in North Korea is the missile, the tank, the soldiers, the, the fake illusion of power. Military displays are everywhere in the country, and leaders are on every building. This is what the country chose to focus on at every cost. This shit looks scary as shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is this looks worse than fucking um motherfucking um 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 Russia. I was gonna say fucking um um this looks worse than fucking um Afghanistan. And not this. My time in North Korea only lasted five days, and it was orchestrated to see what the government wants you to see. And on my train out of the country, I got checked. Is my smoke detector going off? No, it's not. Now we're gonna wait, because Cabral's gonna be a weirdo. That's not mine. I heard it too. You guys are so fucking dumb. Jakey, is that you, baby? <laughs> no. Oh, Jakey? No. Jakey? Uh, yo, really? <laughs> Harassing Jakey? I'm fucking like five years? <clears throat> How about Tuck, bro? No, One stay last up, bro. I don't care. Listen to me, you little stinky Jew. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I bet you're ready to go to bed to Adam the Guzman. Bro, I'm leaving the Discord. I love you both. Good night. I'm <laughs> down, bro. I'm not, this fat, disgusting monster, bro. Always says some weird shit, bro. This fucking like fat grizzly bear, bro. Last time by soldiers. We just got checked. And luckily, they didn't steal our videos. And as soon as we were in the oh. clear, I cried. I cried for the people there. There is no solution for the average North Korean. Their country is and will remain a prison. One day, it may be as prosperous as its neighbor, South Korea. Is South Korea a good country? But that day is very far from today. See you. Okay, so South Korea's fire. So why doesn't South Korea just say you're North Korea? Technically, you're part of Korea. So if you don't fucking shape up, 
We can't fuck with. Wait, do South Korea and North Korea have beef? Is anybody friends with North Korea? Oh, China, nice. Oh, and Russia, very, oh, nice, bro. Nice, chat, nice. Russia and China are besties with North Korea. Nice, bro. Huh. Wow, bro. I thought we're cool with China. <laughs> nice. Okay, does North Korea like us? Wait, but I thought. <laughs> bro, Trump is such a fucking. Bro, he's so ballsy for this shit, bro. He literally went to Korean um, 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 territory and did this shit, bro. This is insane. Like, bro, this is fucking wild, bro. I've never expected to meet you at this place. If you have, if you have to ask take a step forward, you will be the first US president to cross the Bro, Trump is, in my opinion, bro, a go. I don't give a fuck what anybody literally... You can't say shit, bro. You, is Biden doing this shit? The fuck? Bro, like, nobody is doing this. Like, the balls this man has is just insane. Glazing, dude, no president is doing this, bro. You gotta... Like, bro, a president is some alpha shit, right? Who's a boss who is down to literally do whatever. This man stepped in Korea... To meet this motherfucker. Nobody is doing that. And people in New York were like, I would vote Trump, but he's getting indicted. He's going to jail. That must mean he did something. People are so fucking brain dead, bro. I can't believe motherfuckers in New York City, those NPCs really think that like Trump is this nasty scumbag. They toured this American student to death because he stole. Huh? Please think of my family. Otto Warmbier was just 22 years old when he suddenly arrived from North Korea in a coma. Late today, his family confirmed he would never wake up. His family now says the awful, torturous mistreatment our son received at the hands of the North Koreans ensured that no other outcome was possible beyond the sad one we experienced today. A lot of bad things happened, but at least we got him home to be with his parents, where they were so happy to see him, even though he was in very tough condition. Bruh. It's a brutal regime, and we'll be able to handle it. Last week, Warmbier's father spoke to reporters in the same jacket his son wore when he begged for his freedom. That's sad. Please save my life. And I'm so glad you're home. You are such a... What did a they do to him? Great guy. Yeah. A student wow. at the University of Virginia, Warmbier had been on a tour of the secretive country when in January of 2016, he was jailed for stealing a propaganda poster and sentenced to hard labor. He finally returned to his home state of Ohio. His neurological condition can be best described as a state of... But I'm saying, what do they do to him? ...unresponsive wakefulness. North Korea claims warm beer contracted botulism then slipped into an unconscious state after taking a sleeping pill. Even if you believe their explanation of botulism and a sleeping pill causing the coma, and we don't, there is no excuse for any civilized nation to have kept his condition secret Tonight, his death is still a mystery, but the outrage over it is mounting. Gabe Gutierrez. Insane torture. That's fucked. That's what it is. Take it as advice to never go to North Korea. Oh.
Any other Americans go chat and die? You're right. I, I really don't have that much knowledge of politics, but what I can tell you is, listen, bro, it's just obvious, dude. Chat, when I was debating with that communist starting for the assignment, look at you, Eddie. Oh, hell no. Look at Eddie, chat. In that comment, bro. Look at this shit. Bro, Eddie, they kill everyone who goes there, dude. And Eddie, how the fuck am I going to go live there? I need a Starlink or some shit. Like, what the fuck, dude? Dude, I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die, dude. Like, I'm gonna die, bro. You'll be good. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm so... Eddie, would you go with me? Would you go? <sighs> Hell no. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. Nice, chat. You got it, though. <laughs> Man. It's a tough call, brother. It's a tough call, Eddie. How did Dennis Rodman just go and, like, was okay. I don't understand. I don't get it. How? Like, I don't... Can somebody explain he likes the, the Bulls? I get it, but... I escaped North Korea. Take Fousey and Convy. Oh, hell no, Eddie. Fousey and Convy? If I take Fousey, I'll be dead in like fucking 10, 10 minutes. And Convy, uh, he'd be good to take. North Korea. What's the haircut? What's the haircut? I was not paid by any company or government to make this video. I do not condone, support, or promote the regime of North Korea in any manner whatsoever. Please do your own research. I am not a journalist. North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. The North Koreans. North Korea. The propaganda. King! Kim Jong-un. Millions to starve. His regime. Prison camps. Human rights. And Kim Jong-un threatened to destroy the United States. Fire and fury. Ballistic missile. Rocket man. The ballistic missile. The war. Who do they launch missiles to? Who's their, who's their beef? Who are they launching these nukes to? Best mistake of my life. Out of warm beer. Dennis Rodman. North Korea threatens the entire... Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, who, who, U.S. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. They actually launched a fucking missile to us? World. It was a moment for the history books. The f I am not a journalist. I'm just some kid with a consumer camera who was lucky enough to gain access into the most isolated and controlled country in the world. This video series is a product of that. This is, this looks like, this reminds me of like a, a modern day Auschwitz. I'm not even joking. So after three days, two flights, a 12 hour layover in Moscow, Russia, a three hour sleep on a concrete floor, I finally arrived in Beijing. So here I am in Beijing, got here yesterday at like 3 in the morning or something.
It's a quick question. Arriving in North Korea. All right, guys. He's so out already. Where we arrived in North Korea and we met our tour guides. We had Mr. two Eddie. Korean tour guides the whole trip, and one guy from England who was working with the tour company. All foreigners have to be accompanied with anywhere. Kind of statue. You had to take the full statue, otherwise it was seen as an insult. Construction zone. To the sentence more than a year ago he was healthy but distraught later full of photos i'll go and get some nice shots of it in a second but then we've got uh, this big river going through here area and uh how everyone's perfectly lined up well, why are there dishwashers are these people there's no way these are people These lines go all the way around here, even across the road. They don't even docked, but nobody was in them. From the square, we started to walk towards a bookshop. We came across these supermarkets. So wait, Chad, are there iPhones in North Korea? That were just fully stocked, but nobody was in them. I'm not quite sure what was going on here. Maybe they'd gone home for the day, but I'm not quite sure. So then how does this guy have an iPhone? These traffic wardens are fascinating. If they see a government car, they will salute it. And you can tell if it's a government car by their number plates. All their number plates are different colors depending if the car belongs to a company, the military, or a government official. It's very rare for people to own their own cars in North Korea. When we arrived in the bookstore, we were greeted with more copies of the Pyongyang Times, which is an English newspaper talking about North Korean news. With the newspapers or any kind of magazine or pictures with any of the leaders on them, you are not allowed to fold the newspaper through the leader's picture. So you have to be extremely careful when handling these papers. To go anything that you want, considering there's one you... All right, guys, so made it to the hotel after that delicious dinner there. Absolutely exhausted, right? Brick and muffs here. So this hotel is huge. There's 30 floors. I'll show you the view from this hotel before I finish the video, so. So this is the bedroom. I'm sharing with the um, French guy. Um, he's just downstairs, but so have a look out here. So you can see the leaders lit up there that's insane that's the main road and then there's just skyscrapers everywhere make sure you stay tuned for the next video thank you so much hey bro. Let's just